hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so here it is the uh, third video uh, on the topic of uh, biomedical instrumentation so i've already posted two videos related to that introduction to biomedical engineering and then the uh, biomedical measurement system so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the various sources of biomedical signals okay so what are the various uh, types of biomedical signals which are of diagnostic significance which are present in the human body and are used for uh, the identification of the medical ailments and then to treat them okay so we are going to discuss what are the various types uh, their uh, their or, their origin points from where do they originate in the human body and what what are their uh, basic characteristic features okay so first let us have a, a broad analysis of what are the various nature of signals present in the human body what type of signals uh, to our body generate okay so the human body generates all these kind of signals that you are looking in the square boxes okay the electric signals it can be in the form of voltage or current which is fed to the biomedical measurement system through proper signal conditioning techniques the other type of signal can be mechanical signal it can be pressure force flow then it can be chemical signals which can be for uh, concentration of various ions partial pressure of various gases oxygen carbon dioxide etc then is magnetic signals which are the magnetic fields produced by various organs in the human body then uh, another kind of signal which can be present is the optical signals okay it can be uh, analyzed by focusing light on a particular body part and then uh, analyzing how much of it is reflected refracted or scattered okay and then is the impedance signal this is uh, mainly involves the resistance of the skin okay the various layers of the skin okay so these are the nature of the signals okay it can be of uh, electrical nature which uh, which can be uh, which can be measured using suitable electrical transducers and then analyzed in that way it can be of mechanical nature force pressure flow rate okay and then chemical magnetic optical and impedance now let us discuss each of these in detail okay first the bioelectric signals okay the electrical signals originating from the body now the main source of bioelectric signals is because of the presence of positive and negatively charged ions in the human body we know that uh, our uh, human body is essentially 70% liquid okay it consists of various uh, ions in those fluids mainly sodium potassium and chloride okay sodium and potassium are cations they are positively charged and the chloride it's negatively charged so this presence of oppositely charged ions leads to the generation of an electric potential which is called as action potential okay we will discuss about these things in detail here i'm just uh, telling it in short okay we'll i will be making another video on that a separate video but here just to understand that because of the presence of oppositely charged ions mainly sodium potassium and chloride an electric potential is generated across each individual cell of the human body which is called as action potential okay so this signal is the main a uh, source of bioelectric signals okay they are mainly generated by nerve and muscle cells and then there are certain names associated with it which is the electrocardiogram signal which is the action potential generated by the heart 
muscles, the electroencephalogram signal which is the electrical signal generated by brain, the individual neurons in the brain and then the electromyogram signal which is the electrical signal generated by the skeletal muscles, okay? the various biceps, triceps, thighs, hips, all of those body parts, the muscular areas. So, these are the three main categories of bioelectric signal. We are going to discuss them separately, but here just a, a quick uh, overview of it. The second type of signal is the bioacoustic signals. So, acoustic essentially means sound. Okay. So, these signals are the sound signals which are produced because of various uh, physiological phenomena. Okay the movements or the activities happening in the human body. For example, uh, the sound of the blood flowing through the various blood vessels, the sound produced due to that or because of the movement of air through the lungs, all of these okay? and there are many other uh, signals, acoustic signals. So, these are just some examples, the flow of blood through the blood vessels, then the flow of air through lungs these produce certain bioacoustic signals okay this sounds okay then we have is the biomechanical signal now these signals arise because of mechanical movements okay of the human body the physiological system it can be uh, displacement pressure force motion flow anything. So, one such example is when we inhale and exhale, okay, we inhale oxygen, exhale carbon dioxide, the chest, it expands and contracts with respect to that, it is a rhythmic motion, is not it? So, that movement is a biomechanical signal. The flow of blood, it is a biomechanical signal as well as a bioacoustic signal. Then, uh, the general movement of hands, the limbs, the legs, anything, it is a biomechanical signal. Okay? So, these are all examples of biomechanical signals. Then, biochemical signals. Now, these signals uh, arise because of the chemical functions or chemical measurements of the various body parts, cells, tissues or various other body parts. Now, the main uh, the main uh, source of these biochemical measurements which is done is uh, measuring the concentration of various ions in the blood. As I said that uh, the human body is essentially 70 percent liquid water. So, it contains various uh, electrolytes, various ions mainly sodium, potassium and chloride ions. So, when we measure that it is a biochemical signal. Then the partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide which is involved in inhalation and exhalation, the respiration process. So, these are all uh, signals of biochemical nature. Then we have biomagnetic signals. So, our the body, the various organs parts uh, present in it, the uh, in certain areas they produce magnetic fields although the strength, the intensity of the magnetic field is weak, but they produce magnetic fields. Okay? So, these uh, magnetic fields are extremely weak and uh, mainly it is produced in uh, the brain, the heart and lungs. Okay? So, these magnetic fields are also of diagnostic significance and are of clinical importance in the medical system for the identification of medical ailments. So, these are all signals of magnetic nature, the biomagnetic signals. One such example is the magnetoencephalograph. Okay? It is essentially involves measuring the magnetic field produced by brain. Okay? So, this is the magnetoencephalograph. Then there can be magnetocardiograph. Okay? The, which is the magnetic field produced by heart. Okay? So, there are all biomedical, uh, biomagnetic signals. Then is the bio optical signals. So, as I said 
the bio optical signals uh, it involves focusing light on a particular part of the body okay it can be a particular organ a particular section of the body and then uh, analyzing the response of that light with respect to the various optical phenomena such as reflection refraction or scattering okay how much of that light is scattered, how much of that light is reflected, how much of it is refracted and total internal reflection phenomena also comes into play. So, this these are all uh, signals of bio optical uh, nature. Okay? So, the wavelength, the frequency of light which is to be focused on a particular body part that also comes into play. So, there is a lot of things associated with it. So, these are all bio optical signals. For example, how much of oxygen is uh, actually present in the blood, the oxygenation in blood, okay? it can be measured by studying the behavior of scattered light from a tissue at a particular wavelength. For example, uh, light of certain wavelength is focused on a particular body part, okay? a particular section of the body and the amount of scattering, how much of the portion of the light is scattered that gives us information about the oxygenation in blood in that body portion. Okay? So, these uh, are bio optical signals and then we have the bio impedance signals. Okay? So, it is essentially the resistance offered resistance to uh, electrical conduction offered by the various body parts the cells, the tissues, the organs. Okay? So, the main source of bio impedance signal is the skin, the human skin, the various layers of the skin which uh, is called as galvanic skin resistance. Now, the bio impedance signal it gives us information of diagnostic significance about the distribution of blood, the volume of blood and the composition of blood in various body parts. So, this is the bio impedance signals. So, as we can see the human body is a powerhouse of sort, it is a storehouse of signals of various types, it can be electrical signals, it can be mechanical signals, it can be chemical signals, it can be magnetic, optical or impedance type. So, the main thing is to understand how to utilize these signals, how to process it, condition it and then draw important data and information about the various physiological phenomena. Okay? So, all of these signals they convey important information about various uh, physiological phenomena, vital uh, information about the functioning of the human body. So, they also convey information about whether uh, we are suffering from any medical ailment and if we are how to treat it in a uh, effective way. So, this is all about the sources and nature of various biomedical signals that are uh, present in the human body which are of diagnostic and clinical significance. So, uh, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.